hello guys so in this video we will be discussing about the classification of the nervous system that how nervous system is divided into two parts the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system further talking about the central nervous system it is divided into two parts the spinal cord and the brain talking about the brain alone it is divided into three parts the forebrain the midbrain and the hindbrain another name of forebrain is prosencephalon the midbrain is known as the mesencephalon and hindbrain is known as the rhombencephalon forebrain is further divided into two parts the telencephalon and the thalamencephalon telencephalon or the cerebrum is the largest part of the brain whereas thalamencephalon or diencephalon can be further divided into five parts the thalamus the hypothalamus the metathalamus epithalamus and the subthalamus now coming on to the midbrain the midbrain is the part of the brain which consists of some important structures just like substantia nigra the red nucleus tectum tegmentum hindbrain which is known as the rhombencephalon is divided into two parts the metencephalon and the myelencephalon the metencephalon later on results in the formation of cerebellum and pons whereas myelencephalon results in the formation of medulla oblongata so guys this was the classification of central nervous system which included the brain and the spinal cord now coming on to the classification of peripheral nervous system the peripheral nervous system is divided into two parts the sensory pns and the motor pns sensory pns means all those information which can be sensed from the human being body whereas motor means the information which are sent by the brain towards the particular part of the body sensory pns is divided into two parts the special senses and the general senses what are the special senses special senses means all those senses which are sensed only from a single organ or a special just like vision hearing because vision can be only done through eyes not from other parts of the human body equilibrium taste whereas the general senses can be further divided into two parts the somatic senses and the visceral senses now it must be noted that somatic and visceral senses means somatic senses means all those sensory information coming from the skin 
subcutaneous tissue or the locomotor system means joint system whereas visceral senses means all those sensory information coming from internal organs मतलब जितना भी information आपके internal organs से आएगा motor penis can be divided into two parts the somatic penis and the autonomic somatic involves nerves known as the cranial nerves and the spinal nerves there are 12 pair of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves which we will study in different videos autonomic nervous system involves two further parts known as the sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system sympathetic nervous system is under human control means all those movements which we can control come under sympathetic nervous system just like joint movement etc whereas peripheral nervous system usually involves all those movements which are not under the human control just like heartbeat etc so guys this was the whole chart classification of the nervous system which involved the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system in detail we will study in further videos that oh one thing must be noted that spinal cord it is a long about 45 centimeter long neural system cord which is present in between the vertebras so friends this was the classification about the nervous system hope you understand all the information about this thank you so much